Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, can I just tell you that God hates legalistic religion? I, I mean, and you may think that's kind of a, a harsh word to say God hates it. Uh, despise, that could work as well. Uh, and I know this because legalistic religion elevates man's rules above God's laws. And Jesus addressed this in Matthew 15, beginning at verse 1. It says, Then Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat. And they were talking about this ritualistic washing of your hands, not like scrubbing with soap and water, but literally just kind of pouring water over in a symbolic way. And Jesus answered them and said, Why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? For God commanded, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever reviles father and mother must surely die. But you say, If anyone tells his father or his mother, What you would have gained from me is given to God, he need not honor his father. So for the sake of your tradition, you have made void the word of God. You hypocrites! Well did Isaiah prophesy of you when he said, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Do you agree with me now? God doesn't like legalistic religion at all. So here's, here's what's happening. Uh, the Pharisees had come up with a way so that they didn't have to actually take care of their parents because honor your father and your mother in Jesus' time and the, and the Old Testament time meant that you physically provided for them when they could not provide for themselves any longer. It was about money and how much money you spent to take care of your parents. Some people are still operating under this idea that that's what it means to honor your father and your mother. Most of the world has disregarded that. And so uh, Jesus says, hey, you guys are ignoring that because you have declared your money as dedicated to God. And the Pharisees said, well, if you've dedicated your money to God, then only, you only can use it in serving God. Of course, their life was serving God, so they could use it for themselves. But mom and dad, you're out of luck. And Jesus condemns them for saying that their rules overrode the word of God. I love that. I love it because he, he just calls it out. And, and if you look at churches, man, we love you know, these ridiculous rules that we think are more important than the word of God. And so we act out in these legalistic ways trying to control people. And Jesus says, no, don't do that. You see, God is about grace. We're saved by gift, not by good works. And I want to remind you of that. And God is about love. All right, look, he, he doesn't care how how talented you are, how gifted you are, how rich you are. What he cares about is simply uh, the way you treat people. And your heart is revealed in your relationships with others. And then God is about serving, putting others' needs ahead of your own. Uh, you know, the Pharisees were doing just the opposite of that and calling it holy. That's kind of sad, isn't it? And God is about truth about his word telling us what to believe, not our traditions of how we've interpreted his word and the rules that we create out of that. In fact, we're so committed to that that we say the Bible is the inerrant, inspired word of God that tells us what to believe and how to live. We're basing our lives on his word. So can I just encourage you, hold on to Jesus, not man-made rules, not interpretations of men, not the demands that other people put on you to be holy. You just seek to please God according to his word, and your life will be blessed. I hope that blesses you today. Have a great day, Calvary.